Hey everybody, this is Fabian Anlicker and welcome to this video. Today's topic is all about branding. Now you might wonder what I mean with branding. Um, in today's time with all the social media that we have, you actually can do uh, cover photos or just whole covers with background colors, whatever you want to have, and use them on different social medias. What I mean with uh, branding yourself is um, depending on what you want to brand, might, maybe you have your own product and you want to brand this one, or you want to brand your company, or you want to brand yourself, you to brand your name. Um, the advantage is if you, if you are in internet marketing, for example, if you brand your name, you always have the possibility to uh, promote different products. So, Meaning like, uh, even though I'm promoting Mope mainly now, I still have the possibility to promote other products, whatever I want to. And I can do this actually on my Facebook fan page or on my blog or on my Google Plus account, wherever I want to. Oh, sorry about that. <coughs> And uh, if you're just branding your own product, then you are quite limited to this product. So if you want to promote then an other product, your own product, whatever, you need to create a new Facebook fan page or maybe also, depending on if you have a YouTube channel only about this product, you, you will also have to create another YouTube channel. Same with a company, if you are, you might be limited in just a special niche or whatever you you mean what I, you know what I mean. So what I actually would recommend or what I show you today is uh, how you brand your own name. And with branding, I actually just made the, the social medias. What you actually can do, what you should do, where you should open accounts, and yeah, that's the topic of today. So I wanted to quickly show you the pages I have. Let me start here with the Facebook fan page. As you can see up here, it's my name, Fabian Anlicker Marketing. I wanted to use this one. Um, an important thing is, if possible, always use your own name if you can. So, in this case, if you create a new fan page on Facebook first, I guess you just get those ugly numbers as a fan page uh, URL. But you have the possibility to change this to any name that you want, in case it's not uh, given away already. So just try to create a fan page with your own name. Then the next one what I have here is the YouTube channel. As far as I know here, you had once the possibility to change this to your name, but it seems that it's not possible anymore. I have Google for that, so I found the solution. But then when I uh, tried to do what they said there, it was not possible. The only thing that you actually have is um, if you don't take the channel here, but the user, and then you give in your name, that would work as well. So, then next one is Google+. Plus. Also here, you just get the ugly numbers, but it's connected actually to your Gmail account, so it's always connected to your name. Twitter account, again, here I have my name in it. And then I also have my blog. And here I, of course, I got my name, fabianandlicker.com. So if it's possible, if you still can get it, I would just recommend go ahead and get this domain. I mean, it costs you like uh, 10 to 20 bucks a year to get this domain. So I, I would definitely do that. <clears throat> now, what I wanted to show you is um, how to do a cover picture like this. And uh, don't get me wrong, I mean, I don't mean that this picture is professional or whatever, because I did it by myself, and I'm definitely not the guy who who likes to do graphics and stuff like that. This is, I would like to, but it takes too much time for me, and yeah. But in this case, I just wanted to create a banner to put on all my social media sites, 
so it looks uh, similar or almost the same everywhere so that is actually also branding and um, as I said I mean if you don't want to do it by yourself you still have the possibility to go to a professional graphics uh, company tell them to create a real nice banner a business banner whatever you would just pay probably a lot of money the other thing is you can just go to a page like elance.com or fiverr.com where you normally only pay uh, five dollars I have been at fiverr.com and there are pretty much people who offer creating a social media covers for example for Facebook pages or for YouTube covers and you only pay like five dollars for that some of them even uh, offer a bundle so you can get three of the pictures for five dollars or maybe ten or fifteen dollars I mean it's still worth it if you definitely don't want to do it by yourself go to one of those pages and check them out see if they can offer you something and get it otherwise I want to show you a real nice page and it's called uh, canva.com so it's c-a-n-v-a dot com and there you can create your own covers for almost no money let me just <coughs> scroll here through the possibilities you have so here we have for example album podcast cover social media presentation poster so here we have the Facebook cover that's one thing that you definitely need then if you go further we have a Twitter post but what we need is actually the Twitter header then we also have for pictures for Pinterest then here we have the Google Plus cover and here also they would have uh, Facebook ads, Facebook apps. So these are the main things I would say Google Plus, Twitter and Facebook fan page. If you want to create something for YouTube for example or for something else you always have the possibility to click here on use custom dimensions and you just give in the width and the height. And um, if you don't know the dimensions you need, for example, for YouTube, I will post you a link for you below the video. And it's this page here. And this is really cool stuff. Here you can read for the most important social media pages, like the ones that are listed here, what dimensions you would need. So here, for example, they tell you that a uh, Twitter profile picture is like 400 times 400 or if you go down here it would be the dimension for the header photo go further here's the Facebook profile picture the cover photo for, for, for Facebook then what else do we have Google Plus and of course we will have here also Pinterest and what we also need is maybe you use LinkedIn then you can use it also for that what I wanted to show you is here we have the YouTube picture so channel cover photo and also for video uploads if you want to have all the dimensions so as I said I'm gonna post you this link below the video so you can just use it for your reference let's go back now to this page I want to show you this example how easy it's actually to do this Facebook cover so we just click here on Facebook cover now you actually see that it's empty here um, now you have two possibilities actually you can take one of those layouts you just click on any layout and you immediately see how it looks like here they even have the they already have a text in here you can just click on it you can delete it you can add your own text if you click on text here then you you choose the size you just write something here now that's a little bit the wrong color so let me just take this up here so we can read it 
So this would actually be one possibility that you just take one of the layouts that are already created. You just can scroll down here, go through, see if you find something that you like. The important thing is that let's say you want to use you create covers for Facebook, for Twitter and for Google Plus. Check first if they have the layouts for all three of the pages. Because I realize that sometimes they don't have it. So it might be that you start with one with one nice uh, layout and then you go to the next one, you want to create it for Google Plus, for example, after you did it for Facebook, and then you realize, oh, they don't have it. So that would be a waste of time because you want to have actually the same picture with the same text in there. Um, that was the reason why I took the other um, possibility. So let me clear that here. So it's completely empty. What you also can do is you click here on background and then here you get either backgrounds like this and you, as you can see here it says free or you go a little bit further and here you get nice pictures and it says one dollar. So and here you see this, uh, the text Canva. This will only uh, disappear if you pay the $1 fee. And important to know is that this is only for 24 hours. So you actually buy a 24 hour license. And uh, within these 24 hours, you are always able to change the picture, do whatever you want to, and save it again, upload to your social media pages. But after the 24 hours, and um, it's gone, I mean, it's gone, it's still on your page, it's saved. But if you want to do changes and download it again, you have to pay another dollar. Just to let you know. So you can scroll through the pictures here if you like to, or what else you could do is you just go up here and search. What I did, I was searching for a nice beach, for example. If you quickly go back to my fan, book, the fan page on Facebook, as you can see, I have here a beach. Then I have here on the right, I have this circle with a picture of me in it. I have here my name. Then in another, uh, in an other style, I have the welcome to my page. And here, for example, welcome to my YouTube channel. I always change this text for the different social media pages. And I have also my um, my blog URL here, fabianandlicker.com, in this sign here. So if you go back here, I show you how to do that. Let's just take this speech, for example. Gonna clear this one away. This one and this one. So now I want to take this picture. What well, it's important. It will look like this, but you want to have it everywhere, so you just move it like this and also like this. Now it's important that you choose actually this part of the picture that you want to see. So it might be if you, if you take a city with some nice skyscrapers and you see only a part of it here because of the dimension it doesn't look good. So you have maybe to trial and error a little bit. But for this example, I'm just going with this one. So here I would have the picture. What I did then is I click here this down arrow, click on transparency, and then you can choose this, for example, like this. As you realize, maybe on my page here, it's also a little bit transparent because I wanted to have the picture, the name and the text and the URL to be clearly readable. Otherwise, you, it, would, it would look a little bit messy. And here you can choose that with the transparency. So as you can see, we can play around with this. I just leave it here on 60. Then you go to the text. You add a text. That's what I did. I just gave in then my name, Fabian Anlicker. 
and I place it maybe up here. The good thing is that uh, here it already shows you where your profile picture will be placed. So just be aware that you don't place any text or pictures or something that is important to you that you want to show to the people. Don't place it here because it will be it will be covered by your uh, photo. Also on the other uh, on the other uh, social media sites, always take care where your profile picture will be placed because it's always somewhere else. So also you there there you have to shift around a little bit. So here we have the name. Then I go to a smaller uh, letter here. So let's just say uh, I also write welcome to my page. This is a little bit too small, so you can change this here. Just make it a little bit bigger. Then you can change the font. I think what I chose for my page was hmm, I think it was this one here permanent marker yep so here an E as well then you can also move this around a little bit so let's say we do it down here then what else did I have um, I was also when you go to search and you scroll up you have here quite a lot of opportunities to add like lines banners grids shapes frames whatever what I used is I think the text holder here so you can just take anything let's take for example not the one I used uh, anyway this is just an example here so you can then change the text here. It's like uh, babyandanlicker.com. That was my example. Doesn't look that nice in this ex uh, in this case, but uh, as I said, it's just to show you how it works. Then here you still could uh, change the colors, the background color, the font color. Yep. Now here. Let's do some changes, play around a little bit, and then also change the font to this one. Yes. Oh, now it's gone. What happened? Murphy's Law. <laughs> so just let me take another one, bring it back here. Come on. Sometimes it takes a little while until you can click in the text and then change it or in this case it even does not work so you have to play around with this because they have tons of possibilities and I also realized that sometimes it's working sometimes it doesn't work so here it looks like uh, I'm uh, still in the the text holder because sometimes you are on shapes and if you are on shapes and there is a text in it you cannot change it so it normally only works with the text holder so one more try I'm gonna take this one here and as you can see here, it always says free, so that doesn't add any cost to your picture. So now I just take this one as the example, so we don't lose any time. And then the other thing that I did with the picture is you go to frames. Then you choose any style that you want to. I probably took this one then you can also change the size like this you click on it or you go to to uploads exactly then you take the picture and just drag it over here and it's in there so first of course you have to upload a picture of you but then you can just add it here so 
I will just place it right here. And this is already actually a banner that you can use. I mean, just play around with the position, with the transparency, with, uh, <coughs> with if you want to add maybe arrows or other frames, whatever you want to add, or the text holders. You can just play around as you want. And this actually doesn't cost you anything. What you also can do is you just download the picture here where you don't have to pay yet. But you will still have this, uh, actually, this greet in here and the text of Canva. And then you upload it to your social media page just to see if it fits because of the profile picture that I told you and sometimes it looks different if you have it on the social media page then when you do it here on this page so I would just recommend to download test it out and as soon as you're happy with it you just click here on download you choose the image and then you see the total cost in this case is now one dollar so I, this one I got for free the, play, the text holder I got for free, the only thing I have to pay is actually the picture itself and it costs me one dollar. You pay, you have to give in your credit card and you download it and as I said you have 24 hours time to do changes and when the 24 hours are gone and you want to do any changes then you have to pay another dollar. But come on, I mean it's only one dollar. I said I'm gonna I'm gonna do let's say five different um, covers for Facebook fan page, for Google, for Twitter, for um, YouTube, and the one for my blog. It's gonna cost me five dollars. That's nothing, and uh, just start with them. I mean, as I said, my one is definitely not a professional one. What I wanted to have is just uh, identical covers on all the social media pages so that I have a branding for my name. So it will be recognized if you are on the other page and you see, oh, I know this picture, I know the photo on it, I know the name because I've seen it somewhere else already. That was actually my intention. Maybe in a few weeks or months or whatever, I go to a professional graphics uh, designer and tell them, hey, can you create a, a nice banner or cover for, uh, for my social media pages and I pay a little bit more but this was just what I wanted to do in the beginning that I have at least something to use and to brand myself. Um, yeah, that's actually the main point I wanted to show you how to create a cover photo for that so you, you can use it on your social media pages if you want to brand yourself, go ahead, use your name, use your picture so you're ne you are recognized. If you have a product or you want to brand a, pic uh, a, a business, then you can also do that, of course. Um, just be sure that you use either your product name, your business name or your own name in the URL if possible. And uh, yeah, I would say that are the main things. Of course, you can always improve it, go to more different pages, uh, improve your pictures, improve your covers, whatever you want to do. This is just a start that at least you now can start somewhere and you know how to do it. As I said, it costs you probably one dollar if you use maybe something special on it, two or three dollars per cover, but that's really nothing compared to a professional designer, what you would have to pay. And okay, I would say that's it. Thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next video. Thank you.